Good morning, Cape and Lopen High School. I'm Hal Nearing, and here's your Cape Report for September 16th. Are you interested in set design, light design? Do you want to test your people management skills and adaptability? Cape Theater's first tech meeting of the year will be held on September 18th, immediately after school in the auditorium. If you're interested in learning more about tech or joining our crew, then please stop by. Do you have an interest in business and technology? Do you want to compete at the state and international level against students like you? DECA and BPA are student-run organizations that offer scholarships and professional experiences in the business world. There will be an interest meeting on Friday, September 27th during SSAP in the cafeteria. Do you create characters of your own and are hoping to find a club that suits you? Then the Arts and OCs Club might be that club for you. You don't have to worry about if you're good at drawing or art or not because it's also a writing, acting, and character design class. Our first meeting will be Wednesday on September 18th from 3 to 5 p.m. in Miss Christie's room. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us or Miss Christie for any more information. We, we hope to see, see you there! <laughs>. And I'm Amaya Daisy. And we're going to be starting a new segment called Multicultural Minute to talk about the different cultures at the school. The purpose is to enlighten people on the different ethnic backgrounds at school. We're going to be starting off with our Native American background on the next Cape TV episode, so stay tuned. It would be very much appreciated. Now to sports. Hi, I'm Carson Jenny and welcome to Viking Sports. I'm here to carry on the legacy that the legend, the GOAT, the one and only Patty Ice, Patrick Tack had left and whoever that dude named Jody was with him. This year, we're going to try our best in covering all sports with results, along with some coach and player interviews. This past week in sports, Cross Country competed at the Lake Forest Invitational with Ethan Ettery, Julian Calloway, Hunter Jones, and Ace Howard placing top 10 and placing second overall. And on the girls' side, Olivia Brozeski placed top 10 and girls placed second overall. Field hockey had back-to-back -back wins to start their season off against South River High and Woodbridge High. Boys soccer opened their season with demolishing Seaford High and slightly losing to Cesar Rodney. After suffering two losses, girls volleyball came back with an exciting victory here at home against Cesar Rodney. The upcoming, this upcoming week, football plays at Milford High on Friday night. Cross country has a quad meet at Sussex Central on Wednesday, along with an invite at Middletown High on Friday. Field hockey has two home games against Central and Padua on Tuesday and Saturday. Boys soccer has a game today at Worcester Prep and a home game against Dover on Thursday. And volleyball has a home game tomorrow night against Newark Charter and a game at Smyrna on Thursday. Hope to cover a lot of victory, victories this year and cannot wait to graduate. Go Vikings! Hi there, I'm Vivian Lynn, the co-president of DECA BPA here at Cape and Lopen High School. I'm Karina Kiswani, the co-secretary of BPA and DECA. I'm Dylan Roberts, the director of finance and marketing for BPA and DECA. If you're looking for a fun, interactive, and interesting opportunity to participate in the business clubs at school, feel free to join us for an ice cream social after school on the 18th of September at 3.30 in the cafeteria. Remember, you do not have to be in a business pathway to join a business-oriented club, but you can simply come to the social even if you're just curious about the clubs. There will be a follow-up meeting in SSAP on September, Friday, September the 27th. We'd like to see you there. That's all we have for today. If you have any breaking news or something to share, stop by room B1110 and drop us a line. Have a great Cape Day.